Kageyama comes back. No, you you don't you don't need to force it. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. He won't get your way. What the hell does that mean? He's trying though. He's making an effort. That's real commitment. It's really lucky and intelligent that they figured out that the other team figured out their signals. Just knowing that is such a huge advantage. I love that Kagama's benching session seems to have made such a big impact on him, but hopefully he never does that smile again. Whoa! I can just hear it. I just hear the sounds when I see him serve. It's epic. Episode 22, Evolution. Yeah, poor guy just never had his moment as a starter. I think he's good. I can just feel it. He's good. In a way, his natural talent might have worked against him in a certain sense. But now he's adding the sort of the mental element of it, adjusting to others. Damn, question the serve. That power. They need to get a chant going for Karasuno too, like they do with Oikawa. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Love the energy. Man, he doesn't even really need to show his setting abilities. He's crushing the serve. But here it is. Here we go. Classic. What are the new signals? Hand signs? Wow, he complimented him. Alright, he's really proven himself. I thought he might break a little bit as they struggled, but so calm and collected. Annoying. Handsome and composed. Yeah, that's the real core of their offense. I feel like they're gonna take this one. They got this one. Please. Don't hit the net. Oh. Okay, it still counts. No! Wait, did they get that? Good. And he's listening and adapting. I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just waiting for Oikawa to break a little bit. Have some kind of something, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like there's, they've been saving Suki's development on this team for a long time. I'm sure that's coming. Not now, this is not the time. Yeah, I guess this is actually development for Kagayama. Oh, oh, damn it, they gotta get in sync. Yeah, I don't know No, please not now. Not now. This is the opposite of last episode. Everyone was so great and so humble. So much bad blood here. It would be great to see Tsuki develop a little bit, but, I mean, Kageyama could rise above it a little bit and just do it. This is fair, but I feel like there's a better way to have this conversation. Like, just believe in me a little bit. Taking the high route. High road. And there's a way this can play out where Tsuki really appreciates it. It's also on his shoulders now. He asked for it. Yeah, we just saw this. <laughs> it's all on you now. There it is. That's news to me. <laughs> I really can't read him at all. It was too close for comfort. Oh, it's so close. Just doing the same thing. Oh, thank you, Tanaka. I'm expecting a big slam. Oh, 
Ah, oh, yeah, you got him. He set him up for that with the the feints. They got lured in. No, no, nice. That's tough. Tough one. As long as he's not smiling. Oh, please, just get this one point. Oh. Oh. I knew it was too good to be true. And it's his serve. Get ready for hype. Yeah, and if they score this point, it's, it becomes win by two again, right? And flashback. <laughs> At this critical moment. Okay, stop. I need you to stop, IQ. I can sympathize with him after we destroy him. That's the time, not now. I'm not ready to stop being jealous of him quite yet. I'll love him after we win. Hmm, so he's got someone better than him in front of him and behind him at the same time. They call him silly, but he obviously has a quiet intensity. He loves the game. He's very ambitious. He says after he severs his spine. Too much pressure on himself. Oh no. Despite what I said before, this is actually a great setup for their rivalry. Oh, he's so innocent. So kind hearted and innocent. He doesn't know. He actually tried to strike him? It's not a good look. That's the opposite of how we've seen him up to this point. So cool and collected and fun. I just dove right in. Just slipped further and further. That was a really nice portrait of Oikawa. Obviously, he's had a lot of growth in terms of his attitude towards his teammates, most of his teammates, but it doesn't really seem like he ever warmed up to Kageyama. There's still some bad blood there. That weird incident adds a lot from Kageyama's perspective as well. The dude was straight up hostile to him in a moment of earnest respect. Oh, here we go, here we go. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. Not over it. And for Kageyama, someone who's been disrespecting him, probably out of fear, but he doesn't know that, wins best setter. I mean, there's a lot of respect there, but I don't know if Kagama would pick that up. Okay, now back to the game, and please, one point. But after that development, I feel like, oh no, oh no. They wouldn't do all that development just to have him get crushed on this last point. There it is. Nishinoya, he's got it. I believe in him. So reliable. Get up there. What? What are you doing? Oh, he read it. He read something. Oh, he just read that so well. Oh, they did crush them on that last point. From Kageyama, no less. Oh, that was a very interesting, very cool turn. Kageyama's catching up to him. But that's only one, one and one. Now they're all playing at full capacity. All the cards on the table. He's walking a really interesting line with his relationship with Kageyama. It's like both admiration and fear. 
I'm pretty sure this is something that will continue to get explored in the show. But the way I'm looking at it right now, they're kind of over thinking about the whole natural talent thing because they're all at a level of expertise where they have a chance to win. And like they just established in this episode, it's about the six. It's not about their main talent. I mean, it is on some level, of course, right? But it's anyone's game. And their goal is very clear. It's binary. It's to win. And like future aside, a championship now is a championship forever, if that makes sense. So there's no need to be so fearful of Kageyama, except in that it might cast a light on his own insecurities and fears. And it seems like he's been living in people's shadows for a long time. You know, he lived in the shadow of the king or whatever, and he's looking for his moment. And perhaps he's worried that he'll never get it after this because Kageyama's clearly rising and growing at breakneck speed. Oikawa is a way more interesting character than I initially thought. There's a, a real depth to him. There's a whole side that you don't really see from his exterior, where he's just sort of like this kind of lighthearted, fun-loving, handsome, popular, talented dude, but he feels like one of the hungriest characters that we've, we've been introduced to, which is saying something. So in a way, this feels like a battle for his identity and self-worth. <laughs> <laughs>